peoples, me is Blunt Ted, it's another episode from Blunt Ted Talks. First of all, thank you very much for clicking on the video. Second of all, if you've not subscribed already, then please hit that subscribe button and drop us a comment, just letting us know what you think about today's bit of news. Um, some of you may have seen already, some of you may have not, but Richard Masters has finally answered the question about the takeover of Newcastle United. He hasn't answered, he hasn't answered directly to Mike Ashley or to the fans or to the PIF, he's replied a letter to a local MP. Um, basically in that letter he's saying that they were happy to proceed with the owners and directors test. It was basically, it was down to the PIF who were questioned on, you know, who was actually gonna be in control of the club. Was it gonna be the state or was it gonna be the PIF? You know, who was gonna have that control? And they weren't able to answer that question correctly. Now, Apparently, according to Richard Masters, they were even offered um, some sort of tribunal, like an independent tribunal, to try and get to the bottom of who would actually have ownership. And, you know, the, the PIF refused that and then dragged the feet with offering up that information that the Premier League required. Um, Richard Masters also went on to say in the letter, I'll put a link to this letter, by the way, so you can go and read the whole thing in full. Um, but Richard Masters has also said that you know there was no other teams that had any hand in the you know the the final verdict of whether or not Newcastle were going to be able to owned by these people. Um, whether all of this shit is true or not, I don't know. This is all we've got. But we finally did get an answer, and it was pretty much the answer that we was expecting. Um, you know, if it's to be believed, then. You know, it looks like it wasn't really the fault of the Premier League in the first place to stop this from happening. It was down to the PIF dragging the feet. Um, you know, so what What now? You know, well, basically, we've got the season starting. As we know already, we've got that coming up. Um, transfers, very quiet, in and out, very quiet. Not a lot going on. So we're going to be starting the season with pretty much the same squad that we had last season you know who we managed to stay up with so it's not all doom and gloom for me one of the main things that could have happened in this break was keeping hold of asm and dubravka that was the two main things you know mike ashley we want him gone we really want him gone we stuck with him though we stuck with him for now maurice all that seems fake and even if it's real i don't want maurice anyway you know like as, as mad as it sounds, I'd rather stick with Ashley, who we know, than this Maurice, who's currently being investigated by the FBI. Not interested. Um, so yeah, there's not a lot else going on, really. I think if Mike Ashley does want to sell the club, then he needs to just invest some money. We need high league places. We need to be a team that has got passion and pride. We haven't had that for a long time. Haven't had that for a long time. So that's it, you know, that's my thoughts on it. It's, you know, it's not good news, but it's what we expected. So um, that's it, that's it. That's the end of another video. Like I said, if you've not subscribed already, then please hit, the sub hit that subscribe button, tap the bell for notifications. Uh, it's been me, Blunt Ted, another episode of Blunt Ted Talks. Peace.